Well, beloved Dub Dub motherfuckers, what is going on, everyone? It is I, everyone's favorite jack of all trades with foul mouth, and today I got a a special book review for you guys. We are reviewing a book, and you know we are reviewing a small book, a very small, short little book, but it is absolutely an incredible book. Fantastic fucking reading. It might take you a couple hours to read if you have the time to kill. But uh, before I begin with what the book is and why I'm reviewing this book, I want to just say hello to all my friends and subscribers out there. What's going on, guys? I hope you guys are fucking doing well and fucking enjoying the shit I'm putting out. I do this shit. It's all because of you guys. And I want to give a big shout out to Nigel. Yes, buddy. Nigel over at... Uh, Nigel's Modeling Bench, he actually did amazing fucking review of a model kit that I have absolutely just fell in love with. Absolutely fucking fell in love with this kit. He did a long ass two-parter and it was absolutely incredible. And He's just a fucking incredible model builder to begin with and just, you know, the way he explains shit is just common sense. I mean, he just knocks it down to where even normal people can fucking understand it. So Nigel, if you watch this, buddy, thank you for your fucking awesome review. And you'll probably understand why I'm, why I'm getting at here in a moment when I show the book I'm reviewing. But, uh, you know, thank you for what you're doing, man. I hope, if you do watch this, I hope you enjoy. hope all you guys enjoy it. So anyway, the model I was talking about, it was released less than about a month ago. It was a 1-200 uh, scale model of the Japanese battleship IJN Yamato and I absolutely fucking fell in love with this thing and so in honor of the release of the mighty Yamato finally in 1-200 scale I'm reviewing a book about her and here it is it is called Battleship Yamato of War, Beauty and Irony by Jan Morris and I did get this from the library, so it says, An extraordinary and strikingly illustrated reflection on the meaning of war from one of our greatest living writers. The battleship Yamato of the Imperial Japanese Navy was the most powerful warship of World War II and represented the climax, as it were, of the Japanese warrior traditions of the samurai. The ideals of honor, discipline, and self-sacrifice that had immense immense morally ennobled the Japanese national conscience. Stoically poised for battle in the spring of 1945, when even Japan's last desperate techniques of arms, the kamikaze, were running short, Yamato rose as the last magnificent arrow in the imperial quiver of Emperor Hirohito. Here, Jean Morris not only tells the dramatic story of the magnificent ship itself, from secret wartime launched a futile sacrifice at Okinawa, but more fundamentally interprets the ship as an algorithm figure to war itself, in its splendor and its squalor, its heroism and its waste, drawing on rich naval history and rhapsodic metaphor from international music and art, Battleship Yamato is a work of grand iconic eulogy. Basically, what the author, Jan Morris, has basically done is through, is, you know, basically through art, through classic art, historical documents, poems, and music, she was able to describe the life of the battleship Yamato. This is absolutely a fucking amazing picture of the ship. And it's not too long, it's, you know, a few, you know, like a, a little over 100 pages. With an exploratory prologue, tiger on a leash, line of succession for the next day's war. Halfway there, beyond Armageddon, phallic victory, thanks. Information on the IJ and Yamato, I, Yamato actions from the 5th, 7th of April, in picture credits. Saying, basically what she says, it's a... This little work is a sort of illustrated reverie, a literal meditation inspired by the story of the Japanese battleship Yamato. In her day, she was the most powerful warship in the world. 
and she was sunk in a suicide mission during the American assault on Okinawa in the very last months of the Second World War. In reading her story, I have been struck by its figurative aspects. It has seemed to me to express all the varied emotions evoked by the ultimate public catastrophe. War, and not least by irony, its escapable concomitant. For while war is always misery, it has not always been misery unalloyed. Down to the centuries, men, if more seldom women, have paradoxically drawn inspiration from many kinds of forms of experiences of conflict, and I have found many of them expressed in the story of Yamato. I mean the pride and splendor of it all, the undeniable, the undeniable beauty, the excitement of battle, the elegant calm of defeat, the magnificence of human strength and courage, and throughout all the bitter power of irony, tempting the squalor, the carnage, and the degradation. Such is my subject. And basically she goes on saying, this is the ship then, you know, the ship that has inspired my reverie or meditation. Let's see where she lies. And as you can see, basically she takes you basically kind of through a, a, a lens, so to say. And through, like I said, historic art, you know, through historical artwork and such. She basically kind of, you know, paints this picture of the short, you know, of the short life of this magnificent ship. And I figured at first it'd be kind of stupid, but, you know, I thought it'd be fucking stupid. But it's actually a really magnificent little book. And, you know, for such a thing, I mean, for such a small little book, it does pack a lot of information. And at the same time, a lot of, um... Just, a, you know, like it said, like a lot of the story of tragedy, irony, um, you know, grand courage, and, you know, the grand traditions of, of the Japanese, you know, the way of the samurai. And then, you know, like I said, it is, it's, it's an interesting book. It's, it's, interesting, it's a very fucking interesting way of thinking about things, you know, you know, like... How she explains things, like, like right here, reproachful in a way because the very notion of the battleship as a history-defining weapon of war has already been discredited, and by the Japanese themselves. The men of the Yamato are well aware that two of the most powerful British capital ships, the Prince of Wales and Repulse, were enormously sunk by Japanese torpedo bombers four years ago. And they know too well American victories in the Pacific have gained above all by vast numbers of aircraft operating from aircraft carriers. And of course there's a lot of amazing photographs too in this book. You know, of, you know, life on board the Yamato and of course, you know, some pictures, some pictures from the Musashi. And also, you know, like I said, historical art. And also talking, say like, you know, tell the story through historical art. Like this is a really neat picture, it says... The IG and leave an anchorage for battle in the Philippines, October 22nd, 1944. Yamato is third from the right, so she's there. And it says the Musashi is second, so Musashi, Yamato. Oh yeah, quick fact, there was actually was three Yamato-class ships. Uh, Yamato was the first, Musashi was the second, and the third one was named uh, Shiano. Shiano, I think I'm saying it right. But halfway when she was being built, because they had the hull of her built, but instead of finishing her as a battleship, they finished her as the largest aircraft carrier built in World War II. But sadly, just like her two elder sisters, we fucking sank her to the bottom of the ocean. So, yeah, there you go. And, you know, it's just... Like I said, this is just, like I said, it's an absolutely fucking amazing book. It's different. It's a different approach to history. Like, see... Beyond Armageddon, we're basically see even beauty. Perhaps Yamato met her destiny face to face on April 7, 1945, when she was still 200 miles from Okinawa in open sea, west of the Osun Gunto Islands, and basically talking about how you know Hellcat divers and stuff came and bombed the living shit out of her. Which you can see these pictures are absolutely fantastic. I didn't even know these pictures even existed. Like right here, see? She's sinking by the bow. You can tell that she's not going to last in her deer. Her deer is a Curtis 
Hell Diver. I mean, you can like in the way that it tells the final moments of the battleship. I mean, you can really feel like you're just there witnessing the whole sad, terrible ordeal. So you can see she's buried a wall over on her side, and of course, a red ball of flame. They said this cloud was so fucking huge, you could actually see it all the way from the shores of Japan. That's how fucking big this cloud went up in the air. That was insane. And of course, the end of the story. And of course, years later, they found the wreck of the Yamada. This is from 2016. So, my overall thoughts on this book. Yes, I, I liked it. It was absolutely refreshing and it was different. And of course, there is uh, some statistics on the Yamato, which is length is 800, uh, 862 feet 10 inches, 121 feet 1 inch wide, 32 feet 11 inches for draft, 27.7 knots on trials was her speed. She was launched on the 8th of August of 1940. She was completed the 16th of December 1941. And she was deemed operational on the 27th of May 1942, became the fleet flagship, and she was sunk on the 7th of April 1945. But, yeah. So, what do I think about this little book? Well, I think it's unique. I think it's a unique telling of the story of one of the most feared and most, you know, kind of unknown of the battleship because you know it was many years later when we actually found out about the true aspects of the Yamato and you know ever since then people just been fascinated by this ship and her other sisters and this is actually a very nice little you know reverie uh, meditation of sorts as the author herself Miss Morris says it is and I absolutely enjoyed it I thought it was really fucking amazing and if you are a fan of the Battleship Yamato or just battleships and warships in general, read this book. It's definitely going to be something that's definitely you know going to be different, and it's well worth it. I give it two thumbs up and fucking five stars. It's a great little book. It's absolutely incredible. So there you guys have it. That is my review of the book Battleship Yamato of War, Beauty, and Irony by Jan Morris, and an honor for the release of the. One 200 scale model of the Yamato herself. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the fucking comment section below and I'll get back with you. If you're new to the channel and like the shit I'm doing, hit that damn subscribe button. Hit the fucking notification bell. Never miss another video ever again. And until next time, this is Commodore Urban saying have smooth seas and clear skies. Happy sailing with all of you. God bless you all. And until next time, you know, anchors away, motherfuckers. And I'll catch you on the warm trade wind or where the hell wherever we go. Until next time, so long and take care.